guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. I am excited to tell you the continuing story of my short driver saga. As you guys know, when I went to Texas, I hit my brother's short driver on one hole. And I've done this before. I piped the thing dead straight, made a birdie. And I'm like, oh man, I'm going to cut down my driver. So I'm going to tell you that story in just a second. But first, I want to tell you about my short game evolution. It's crazy. So check out this video. Hey guys, Christo Garcia, MSE TV. I am so excited because I'm in the seventh week of my short game evolution. And man, I've been through every short game technique that I can think of. And today I'm gonna work with you on the three most important short game shots you have to master to drop your score like crazy. Let's dig into it. <laughs> Get ready to start getting the ball up and down all the time because it doesn't take too long to master these shots. And once you have them in your arsenal, you're going to be a dangerous golfer around the greens. So that's available for all of my MSC TV subscribers. I love you guys. Check it out. It's under the new videos section. And I always put my short game stuff also under plan of attack. So those are two places on the MSE TV site that you can find it. And I urge all of you guys work on your short game. Like I've gone through multiple evolutions in seven weeks working on my short game, but I have confidence like I've never had around the greens. I've never ever been like this around the greens and I'm only getting better. So guys, the next MSE Intensive, we're going to work on short game putting as well as the over-the-top miracle swing. It's September 3rd and 4th. I have a guest, Greg Hood, Class A instructor with Jim McLean, who knows the over-the-top golf swing, and he was the Ben Hogan rep for the tour, okay? So he knew Ben Hogan. He's going to be with us next weekend. So guys, hit me up, Christo, at myswingevolution.com if you'd like to come to the intensive or if you'd like to set up some lessons with me. It's a great idea. And guys, get the over-the-top miracle swing. It's the best. What I, I wouldn't be able to focus on my short game if I didn't get my swing evolution finished. I'm basically finished. I want you to be here with me, okay? The best thing to do is get MSE TV. That's where you get the over-the-top miracle swing and everything else. My fitness, I'm, I'm dieting and working out. I'm back on that again. And you can get my latest short game stuff at MSE TV. You want to get this video. It's the three short game shots you have to master at MSE TV. Okay, let's dig into my short driver review. Hey guys, I'm about to try out my 43 inch driver now. And this is an experiment I haven't done in like five years, but I'm wondering if my OTT swing is gonna be the trick. Um, again, I'm like, I'm not going for max distance. I'm going for max accuracy. So let's see if this 43 inch driver actually helps me to hit the ball a little more consistently. So I've got my little short driver here. Now, one thing I've learned from doing this several times, I think this is my third time doing this, it makes the swing weight much lighter. Uh, this is probably around a C9 swing weight. Um, I generally like to feel the weight of the club head in my hands as I'm swinging the club. That just helps me to sense where the club head is. That's why I tend to like shafts that are a little bit softer than a lot of other guys that swing at my general swing speed. So here we go. First ball wasn't bad. It was a slight pull up the left side. Yeah, it's, it's funny feeling. So I figure I'll set down an alignment rod just to give me a little bit better aiming here. Second shot was very good. That was a, a tight little fade. 
uh, I'd be happy with that. Yeah. And that was a, a pull hook. Just came right over it. And that was another pull. Not looking good. So now I, I start thinking I gotta really drop it under. That's a, a very nice swing. That was one of my better swings. Now these balls are, are just barely making it to the net. Okay, so there I hit a big push cut. Sometimes called a slice. And there's another one. So I'm having a very difficult time trying to feel feel the face, control the face, and know, know where it's at. But the second thing is I'm having a very hard time trying to create speed. Okay, that's the best drive that I hit, but I'm going to guess that, that that drive is only like 260. I mean, hardly any farther than my three would. So I, I start cranking it. I'm like, okay, let's let's put my 44 and a half inch shaft in here and see what's going down. Now, I did have a, a long shaft, a 46 inch driver. That's the one that I cut down to 43 inches. And when when I got my second shaft at 44 and a half, I really didn't notice a swing weight change. I still feel that I can tell where the club face is and my first drive I pipe it right up the middle probably 280 nice and smooth and there's another one and that one is a little cut up the center you know it's 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 kind of crazy Oh, I, I put the 43 inch in my mini driver and I hit a couple. So that's where the 43 inch shaft is going to live in this mini driver head. So I, I just had to see if that works. Another cut into the fairway. That's, that's a, a reliable shot for me. There's one up the left side. So there, there's just there's just no question. I don't even mess around with it. I'm like, okay, my driver is staying in my, in my bag. 44 and a half inches. I can hit it 300 with a nice solid rip. And the 43 inch shaft is going in my tailor-made mini driver. So I like that mini driver for a lot of reasons. Here's a quick rundown of all the swings with the mini. So just for a quick comparison, here's all the swings with the 43 inch and then my 44 and a half inch driver. Uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working oh, on this stuff on the driver at least 50 to 60 yards it's dynamite it's crazy i want you to swing over the top you heard me now hear me out my swing is feeling effortless with power don't try to rebuild your swing if you're over the top learn to use it to your advantage what do you notice about it it's just easy it's just easy i don't have a whole bunch of thoughts just one just come inside Hit down. Dropping it under causes pushes and hooks, and it almost ruined my back. When I started my swing evolution, I was a terrible golfer. Today, my channel has over 25 million views, and I even got to swing as Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel. Click the link below to experience your very own miracle. Transform your game at myswingevolution.com.